Good evening, everybody. I'm Seth Meyers. This is Late Night. We hope you're doing well. And now, if you don't mind, we're going to get to the news. President Biden told reporters yesterday that he's optimistic about a ceasefire in Gaza by next week. And this was awkward while I was eating ice cream. <laughs> How about a minute to put down my cone, dude? <laughs> this is like what Obama announced. We got bin Laden just as someone put out the pie. Former President Trump is set on Thursday to visit the U.S.-Mexico border. I'm guessing to make a break for it? <laughs> you guys, before we move on, I want to address something we did on the show yesterday. We showed a clip that implied that Donald Trump had mistakenly referred to his wife as Mercedes. It has since been explained to us that he was referring to a Republican operative named Mercedes Schlapp. So apologies to Donald Trump, who definitely knows that his wife's name is Melanie. Former President Trump is reportedly working to build up his campaign fundraising operation. Yeah, I bet. Pretty soon he's going to start selling official Mar-a-Lago copper wiring. <laughs> Being a Trump donor now must be such a bummer. It's like having a 16-year-old dog. He's costing you a fortune. He doesn't really do anything, and it seems like he hates being alive. <laughs> the first ever Florida Man games were held over the weekend. They're like any other sport, except you have to fail a drug test. <laughs> A handcuffed prisoner recently escaped from custody at a Philadelphia hospital. He managed to make his way to a Philly sidewalk where he could blend in with all the other guys wearing one handcuff. <laughs> the fast food chain Wendy's has announced it'll experiment with a new surge pricing menu next year. So a burger may cost a dollar more during the lunch rush and $40 more at 3 a.m. We know you want it. <laughs> where else are you gonna go? A couple in Kentucky recently got married in the men's restroom at a gas station. I don't know who that's worse for, the couple getting married or whoever was waiting for the key. <laughs> they were on toasts. <laughs> Authorities in Boston over the weekend arrested a McDonald's customer after he allegedly punched an employee. And yes, he'll be oppressing charges. <laughs> And finally, according to a new report, 72% of Republican voters said that they have a favorable view of birth control, while the other 28% are Duggars. And that <laughs> was a monologue, everybody. We're off and running.